Hey YouTube, what's going on? Snowflarky's emails here with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Close Call. This is a series in which I take duels that I've had uh, and some duel replays and I kind of commentate how they played out. Usually for situations that, uh, you know, don't play out as expected. You know, had to, you know, game turned out a little different than normally the bread and butter combo to win type stuff. So, with that said, uh, going in, uh, I got a decent hand here, starting off with Phantasm Spirals, Field Spell, a Monster, Duality, Sea Stealth, lots of stuff I like, and my opponent is playing Blue Eyes, so let's get it going. I'm going to start by playing the Phantasm, of course, so that when I play my normal monster, I can get my search for a Phantasm Spiral battle. Very nice. I'm going to play Pot of Duality here, and I'm going to dig for cards. I see that card of Demise there, looking very nice, especially since I don't have Floodgates. Um, if I top decked a Floodgate, though, I might have picked it over Card of Demise, just because Demise doesn't guarantee I get a Floodgate. But Demise is going to draw me three cards, and see, I don't get a Floodgate, I get another Torrential, I get another Sea Stealth. So I choose to set those two and let Duality go to the Wayside. Now I pass, uh, right off the rip, I'm going to play Sea Stealth Attack, just so I can keep my card, uh, my Phantasm card protected. They're going to set... Uh, you know, a face down and a face down spell a trap card. I'm going to pop Lost Wind, which is kind of a waste of a pop because Lost Wind ain't going to come too handy for me. Uh, I top deck the Red Sea Snake. This will allow me to grab Phantasm Spiral Power. Now I'm going to attack uh, their White Stone and get some damage in. Now White Stone is a bit of a problem for me because if they are playing the Dragon Spirit in white, they can banish my Phantasm uh, card. Um, but uh, the... Once again, the power of rogue matchups. If the opponent doesn't know what your deck does and doesn't know what to target, they're going to target the wrong card. So they just play Dragon Spirit of White, try to pop one of my other back row. It is Torrential Tribute, which since it's going to go away anyway, I'm just going to play it right here. Use Sea Stealth to protect Gagagigo. We are going to lose Red Sea Snake, but just get that card out of the way. Uh, and of course, this will get me my Phantasm Spiral token. There it is. Next, my opponent's going to use White Stone of the Ancients after they set a card. We're going to use the effect of Sea Stealth right now because I want to resummon my guy and get another Phantasm Spiral Trap from this. They're going to play Ash Blossom on it, which, you know, that's fine if you want to play Ash Blossom on that. Now they're getting trade in to get some cards. That kind of stinks. Dragon Shrine, getting things going. This is where I see the Galactic Spiral, so I see they're definitely doing a more combo XZ Blue Eyes deck. Now they're going to use Return of the Dragon Lords, of course to summon out uh, Dragon Spirit of White, and this time they try to target my C Stealth Attack, which thankfully I set the other one so that I have another one alive, ready to go. Uh, also important thing to consider when you're making the decision about which one to keep off Demise. Uh, they're gonna go through the motions though, now they're gonna start making some Xyz plays. Uh, of course, now they can make Galaxy Cypher Dragon. I'm gonna play Torrential Tribute, try to wipe this board. Uh, mainly because I need to get rid of uh, the Return of the Dragon Lords and uh, so that I can wall these monsters off with my tokens. So they're going into Dragoobleon, your Cypher X Dragon. Uh, Dragoobleon, of course, is going to get Numeron Dragon. Now that that effect is activated, I can get my token again, and they're not going to be able to attack this without getting destroyed. Uh, so they get their Numeron Dragon up to a big 1900. Um, so, of course, I'm going to destroy Numeron Dragon with the effect of Sea Stealth Attack, and they'll trigger its effect to destroy all cards on the field. And then we're going to set a card. I'm going to set Card of Demise, because that is pretty sweet. So I can set my two traps, draw some cards, play Megalo Smasher, get this. I can play one of the battle, pop one of these face downs. Uh, it's Imperm, which isn't useful. I'm going to pop the other one, which is Dragon Shrine. Get there can be only one. That'll probably s end this game, because now that they can't get multiple dragons, they're not going to be doing nearly as cool stuff. So, of course, they're going to give me my token. Uh, I've already searched all my Phantasm Spiral cards, so they're going to go into Star Liege Seyfert, use its effect to grab another Star Liege, and, of course, they're going to add Blue Eyes to their hand with Star Liege here. Now they're going to go for the big Nebula Dragon. This is where I'm going to play There Can Only Be One, because now both can't be summoned. They're just going to be stuck on Nebula Dragon. Now it's my turn. I draw Skill Drain. Perfect. Skill Drain and There Can Only Be One will definitely sum up this game. So uh, we're just going to set that and, uh, you know, ride it out till we poke our opponent down. They set a card. Not much they can do. I grab another Phantasm City. I'm just going to pop the face down with this. Now, of course, if they want to go into Dragon Spirit of White, I would just be able to Skill Drain its effect. They're going to go into Blue Eyes, which, uh, you know, it's Blue Eyes, it's big, but luckily Sea Stealth Attack means I can destroy this guy. So they're going to set a card. I'm going to use Sea Stealth to dip that card out. 
they haven't read Sea Stealth Attack, so they're going to attack into it. They're going to use Star Leech here to try to draw a card. I'm going to Skill Drain negate its effect, leave Star Leech up, and this is going to give me just enough damage if I attack with this guy first, 200, then they only got 2,000, and boom, that ends the game. So yeah, uh, definitely it was cool to see me uh, out the Numeron Dragon. I, I, I liked that bit right there. And, of course, uh, you know, just showing the power of these decks really coming from the fact that if your opponents don't know what you're doing and they don't know what card to stop, uh, you can sometimes win games off that. Because if that Dragon Spirit of White had banished uh, Phantasm City, uh, probably would have not been the same game. So just keep that in mind. Let your opponents make their mistakes. So thanks for checking out this video. I appreciate you all stopping in. And I'll catch you all in the next one.